please welcome your hosts for tonight, Philip Schofield and Bam Britta. Star Mr. and Mrs. The Show, where three fearless celebrity couples lay out the welcome mat and invite <laughs> us into their private lives. Fools. We're going to take a tour around the inner recesses of their relationships and we endeavour to discover exactly what they know about each other. So, who are the sweethearts willing to sweat it out under the spotlight? Playing all star Mr. and Mrs. tonight, we have Buffy the Vampire and Little Britain star Anthony Head and his partner Sarah. Cheapest Chips, David Dickinson and his wife, Lorne. Yeah. And Atomic Kitten, Natasha Hamilton and her husband, Riyadh. Yeah. Ah. You see, at the moment, it's all come-to-bed eyes, but it could be separate bed eyes a bit later. Yeah, they're all here for charity, and they all want to get their mitts on the £30,000 jackpot. <laughs> so it's time to meet the first couple willing to bear all. It's Anthony Head and Sarah. Anthony has been with his partner Sarah for 25 years. Sarah is a horse whisperer, and they live with their two daughters and a menagerie of pets, including two pink donkeys. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What a pleasure to see you. Thank you for coming. You walk down those stairs with a why am I doing this look in my <laughs> eye then, Anthony. Something like that. <laughs> I am absolutely breaking it here. It is terrifying. No, you'll and be so fine. you should be. <laughs> you'll be fine. I love you. I love you, you too. If you get it wrong, I'll leave you, but I'll love you. <laughs> oh, so the stakes are high. Oh, oh yes. yes. Well, before we start to play and have a chat, let's mm. have a look at what you said about each other. Mm. Let there be you. Sarah and I have been together for about 24 years. We met at the National Theatre and I saw her in the bar and thought she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I don't even really give him a second look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Life is as far from show busy as you could possibly imagine. Manure is a great leveller. So if he does come home a bit starry, I so just pick up the pitchfork and go and poo pick the paddock. You do all the boy stuff and I do the pretty girly things that make it all look beautiful. I work with all animals uh, to help them overcome behavioural problems or health problems. I'm extraordinarily proud of what she does. She gives an enormous amount of herself. The only thing that does really bug me is the loss of memory sometimes. And he just completely forgets that he said he'd do something. I'm trying to think of... Uh, there was something I did say that was quite romantic, I can't even remember what it was. Tony without me wouldn't be airy-fairy, he'd be unemployed. I wouldn't have achieved a fraction of what I've achieved if I hadn't met Sarah. He's my life, he's my partner, he's my friend. He's the father of our two incredible children. Our life really is perfect. It's been a really fascinating and rich journey with her. I don't like to think what it would have been like without her. that you, you really love Tintin? <laughs> yes. And she really doesn't like my like of Tintin. Really? I, I, yeah. Do you have any memorabilia or anything? I mean, how far does it go? Um, well, all that's left is a mug. Really? <laughs> I have a Tintin mug, yeah. Do you? When did you last see that mug? <laughs> um, mm. Can you remember? <laughs> Probably not. No, I, mm, I think about a week ago, but maybe not. Well, we no. have a little story about that, don't yes. we, Sarah? We do. You know that lovely foster puppy we had that's really cute and yeah. really bouncy and she smashed the mug and uh, left it in the road and it's gone and it was about two months ago. We were so <laughs> going to lose. It wasn't a week ago. Gone, I'm really sorry. The last piece of oh. tinted memorabilia gone. we had is now gone. Until tonight. <gasps> when no! we have this tinted mug all sparkled up She with thought she got rid of it. <laughs> wow. There you are. That's your own. That mug. is very. That's very camp too. Yeah. That's, that is a camp glam. Remember, tin -tin mug. we've researched you very well. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to play All Star, Mr. and Mrs. Let's move the booth. Oh. Oh, oh look. Ooh. So here are the rules. Very simple. Both partners will be asked the same questions and all they have to do is to match the answers. Simple as that. So who is going into the booth first? Me. OK, Sarah, in you go, please. <laughs> so nice. We 
put the headphones on, blindfold on. I'm going to put those on, put on the blindfold. Sarah, you can't hear us, can you? No, but if I press <laughs> this button, she will be able to. Sarah, can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can. OK. <laughs> Oh. Anthony, we're going to ask you three questions yeah. and then we will bring Sarah back out of the booth right. and ask her the same three questions. And to win the game, the answers need to be the same. Are you ready? Right. Question one, Anthony. Which of these pictures of you would Sarah say she finds most attractive? Have a look. <laughs> On the left is you as you are now. In mm -hmm. the middle is you as Frank and Flirter in mm -hmm. the Rocky Horror Show. And on the right is you in Little Britain, wearing yes. the gorgeous black thong. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that one up. Um, well, actually, um, probably Frankenfurter. Frankenfurter? Frankenfurter, because, I mean, basically, living with an actor, you have to... You have to live with whatever character they're playing. Oh. Frankenfurter was a bit of an imp. He was, um, he was a naughty little man. So, and what um, did you think of the Little Britain Little Briefs? Um, I think I, th mm, I think probably the less said about that, the better. <laughs> Shall we move on, then? Yes, moving yes, swiftly all right, then. <laughs> Question two. Sarah, as we know, is a horse whisperer. But if she could apply her behavioural techniques to you, mm -hmm. which of these animal problems would she most likely to cure you of? Excitability. Problems when grooming. Issues associated with ageing. Bucking and rearing. Um, I think probably since issues um, um, concerned with ageing, which is largely loss of memory, and, uh, yeah, probably that one. Yeah, you're going to go for the uh, issues uh, associated with ageing? Yes, she's a very patient woman. OK. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Final question in this round. Question yeah. three. Anthony, if Sarah was to be immortalised in chocolate, which part of her body would you eat first? <laughs> Um, well, if we're going with, you know, like your, your chocolate egg or whatever, the best bit is always the bottom. Because <laughs> that's where all the chocolate goes to, so that's where the chunky bit is. Ooh. Chunky so, bottom. No, no. <laughs> Take chunky out. What do you uh, want us to write here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it would really be the feet, but, I mean, just say... The bottom. What, What's she what, going what to say? What's she going, going to what? say? I have not the foggiest idea. <laughs> it's a simple enough question. What do you guys talk about? <laughs> I'll say the bottom and we'll see what happens. Yes, on. bottom and to hell with it. There we there are. We there we go. go. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Shall we get her out? Let's get her out. <laughs> okay, out she comes, Sarah. <laughs> Anthony has uh, given us his answers, and to win the game, Sarah needs to say the same. Question one. Sarah, which of these photographs of Anthony do you find the most attractive? <laughs> there you go. Well, he knows I didn't kiss him when he had the Frank and Furter gear on, and he mm. was hoovering in the cupboard with high heels on, which is a bit alarming. Pardon? He had high heels on, and he was hoovering, and I walked in and said, what, you didn't commit nothing? <laughs> So I said, come out of the closet, Anthony Head, so he came out. He said, I've just been told I have to practice in my high heels. So, oh, yeah, sure, darling, it's fine. So I wouldn't kiss him when he was in that, and he knows how I feel about that little thong shot. How mm. do you feel about that? I don't feel good about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it made him an icon. Yes, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'll, go, <laughs> I'll go for the left one. Mm. Oh, the not match. a match. He thought you'd go for him. What? So oh, because... What, you wore my because... cardigan? <laughs> you spent... <laughs> Hang on a minute. You Oops. spent half an hour looking at that poor girl on the tube and studying her mouth, and she got all excited because Tony Head was going... <laughs> wow. And then he realised the girl had clocked it and he didn't have the heart to say... Oh, I really like that pink. I think it would suit Frank and Where Where'd you get your lipstick? I just said. And I wouldn't kiss you with that wig on because it was what? too creepy. Anyway, next. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are a horse whisperer. But if you could apply your behavioural techniques to Anthony, 
Which of these animal problems would you most like to cure him of? Oh, Marvellous. Excitability. No. Problems with grooming. No. Issues associated with ageing. <laughs> bucking and rearing. Oh, no. Well, hang on a minute. If you've gone down the Frankfurter route, you've obviously picked bucking and rearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, haven't you? Give me a clue. Would that would dance for here? <laughs> sorry, why, oh, why? sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, ageing, ageing. Go for ageing. Is that what you're going for? Yes, I think that's what he's. It's say. a match. Yay! Thank you, Sarah. Question three, Sarah. If you were to be immortalised in chocolate. Which part of your body would Anthony eat first? <laughs> well, he likes my eyes the best, so I'd say my eyes, but that's a bit gross, isn't that's it? That's gross. But, ha well, hang on, what body part isn't if you're going to eat it? Eat your well, eyes. Just... Well, I'd take my hands. I don't know. What do you think he would have said, bearing in mind you've been a little shocked by what he said so I far? I just don't even know who this man is anymore. <laughs> Mm. Face. Oh. Oh, I do that. Oh. It's that... not your face, no. it is in fact your bottom. But... What? <laughs> the bottom. How much chocolate is there in the world? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom. Well, Tony, you've done very well. Done at really the, well. At the end of your first round, you've got one match, which is awfully good, mm. and please come back later to play. I don't actually battles. think I want to. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you a bit later, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony and Sarah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the break, where we'll be meeting David Dickinson and his wife, Lorne, and a Tommy Kitten, Natasha Hamilton, and her husband, Riyadh, as they play All Star Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Coming up! You don't like having your hair touched? I do, but. You go, oh, oh, I see, so it's... All funny. Oh, that's sort of all funny. Right, OK. <laughs> no.